hey what's going on you guys welcome to another video and today man we're gonna talk about the situation that happened a couple of days ago i don't know exactly when it happened but it's about that lady um that got hit in the face with the brick according to her she said that someone came up to her and asked her for a phone number she denied that person and that person hit her in the face with a brick and there were bystanders standing there uh, she was pointing at the men. Uh, when I watched the video, I saw one woman standing there, but she was pointing out to the men that the men stood by and did nothing. And my initial reaction was that um, she should not have been um, in that location to begin with because the place looked run down, probably somewhere in the hood. I don't know exactly where it was. I said that she should not have been there in the first place by herself. She should have been with somebody, a couple of friends or a male friend. And I also said that there has to be another side to the story. Not that she deserved to get hit in the face with a brick, but I thought she was leaving some part of it out because when she was in the hospital, she said that the men picked up the brick and then she said, uh, uh, do you guys see this? Do you guys see this man with a brick? So she got to change the story. Like if you are arguing with somebody and that person picked up a weapon, whether it's a brick, a bat, why are you just standing there and ask that like, telling people hey do you guys see this you just run away just run away disengage uh apologize do whatever you gotta do for you to go home unharmed so as of now we only got one side of the story but one guy came forward uh take this with grain of salt he said he was there and he witnessed what happened and this is what he had to say about this yes she get yes she did get hit by a brick yes i saw it Yes, I was standing by doing nothing. And if that shit happened again in the same circumstances, I will watch. Because she's not as innocent as she portrays herself to be. She was taunting the guy. She was calling him all type of names. She was degrading him to a point where he resulted in picking up a brick and hitting him. I don't condone that type of behavior. But once again, she's not as innocent as she portrays herself to be. I literally, like, I remember a while back, she's posting videos going around in public, literally smacking old white people in the face. Now, to be fair, these videos that I see a lot of pe people are pouring into, um, it looks to me like these were sketches. Uh, I think she was just going up to random white men, by the way. I don't know why, but well, I know why. She's one of those TikTok feminists. You know, uh, a pro-black feminist that, you know, white people got privileged. So she was just walking up to random white men. Uh, to me, they look like they're into that type of stuff. So she thought she was doing something. To me, these men look like, you know, they're probably into some BDSM or something. But she go up to him, probably told him, hey, I'm, let me film this. Uh, I'm going to smack you in the face and then walk off. So she, I, I saw three videos where she did that right she did she did to one man wearing glasses she did to like an older gentleman sitting down and she did to another white man where she just would go up to them pretend like they're arguing and smack them and then walk away so these were sketches she was not going up to strangers and smacking them and now you get hit by a brick now you want to cry wolf and i don't care you, you you wanted trouble you got trouble that's why i was still by and watch so don't oh man that, that whole situation got me upset all right so this is what he had to say um and yeah man i still hold the same sentiment I did when I make the, when I made the first video that we live in a different time, um, especially in America. You don't know who's carrying what, and people do not want to put their life in jeopardy for someone they do not know. Um, I get it. Uh, I wish that she did not get hit with a brick. I don't think anybody should be putting hands on anybody. But we have women out there that think that they can just do and say whatever they want. Well, you got women out here that they get off on um, calling men names, you know what I'm saying, tease them, putting them down. It's like a, 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 a fun for them. And not every man is going to have the same reaction. You got some men out here, they got, you know, they got some uh, low self esteem. You don't know what their upbringing was like. They probably got teased a lot by their um, mother, their sister, and now they are older. You might be the the what 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 how the saying go the straw that broke the camel's back. You know what I'm saying? They probably look down on you like how dare this girl, uh, this black woman. You know what I'm saying? You got me that feel like that. So I say to a lot of y'all women, um, yes, avoid certain areas. Um, if it's somewhere that 
you don't feel like you're gonna be safe do not go to these places and she looked like to me someone that just loved to be the center of attention always somewhere uh with her butt out twerking over the place now that i'm saying she deserved what happened to her but it was kind of wild to me that the first reaction was to pull out her phone and film herself um she did not film her film herself arguing with that man possibly get whatever car that he was in to help with the police investigation what ladies get a license to carry um nobody owes you protection especially if we don't know you especially if we do not do not know the whole context of the argument stop arguing with people and think that just because you're a woman nothing gonna happen to you because you got women, like, like i said you got women that think like that um i've seen quite a few video one video i remember was um i think it was in new york uh you probably you guys probably seen this video it went viral right it was a guy in a train and there was like a couple of days there was like three of them or something and they were just being obnoxious yelling in the train and i think one of the girls said something to the guy the guy was like six foot something tall she said something to that man and that man said something back and the girl just hit him and the, the guy smacked the crap out of her you know what i'm saying what i noticed is when the girl hit the guy everybody just stood there you know what i'm saying go, go oh you know what i'm saying oh shoot filming but when he fought back everybody jumped in but i don't think the guy got because he was pretty big but you got women out there i'm not saying that's what happened to her i'm just giving you guys an example you got women out there that feel entitled because they are a woman they can talk whichever way to a man hit a man and they be just because you're a man you're supposed to be able to take it but i found another video on tiktok and this lady um explained it perfectly I agree 100% with what she has to say because some women might see my video and think that I'm being, you know, misogynist and I hate women and things like that. So I'm gonna give you guys another perspective from a woman. Listen to this. So I personally never thought I'd have to come on TikTok and like speak about something like this because I just feel like I and my brain thought this was common knowledge. But let me go ahead and make a post about what happened to Ro. For everybody who doesn't know, she's a creator on here and she was hit in the head with a brick by somebody because she refused to give her number out. And that is what is basically circulating everywhere online. Um, and I was reading some tweets and I was like, I have a couple tips for y'all. Cause some people don't seem to genuinely get it. And full disclaimer, this is not me condoning what happened to her. This is not me with any feelings, positive or negative towards this creator. This is just a literal fact. So we're gonna start with a quick little story time. When I was in college, I remember I used to live um, with a roommate. Her name was Genesee. She was uh, older than me. And when I say older, I mean like three, four years. And she was doing grad school. And she's black, little thug, you know, little, ah, my little one too. So I remember I went out to this club and it was called Stubblefields. And after we got let out, I went to school at WSU, by the way. Um, I had I actually knew this person and I guess he was really, really drunk and he meant to go and hit his friend and he punched me in the face because he was so fucking drunk. And I was wilding out, y'all. I was fucking wilding. Grown ass man and nobody did anything about it. One, because they knew the guy. Two, because they knew me. Three, I don't know. They, I think everybody was just kind of in shock of what happened and they didn't want to get involved. I remember I got home and she's like, what the fuck happened? Because at this point I had a black eye. And I'm telling her because my drum's sobbing. I'm like wilding out. And she said something to me, and I will never forget it to this day. She literally said, Christina, calm down, one, two. This is why I don't go outside. And if I do go outside, I make sure that there's people around me who I know and who I trust. Because you never want to put yourself in a position for something to happen, and you have nobody there to ride for you. Y'all already know where this is going. By looking at her surroundings, the area she was in, the people that were around and the people she was interacting with, I'm not saying it's any, you know, shade to her, but like, just like when she was like, you know, going up to people and shit, them motherfuckers look sketchy. They looked motherfucking sketchy. So now let's circle back to the video. So in the video, she's going like this. We're outside. As you go outside the car, show ya. We're outside. These black men. And you hear somebody specifically say, we weren't even here. You literally hear somebody say, we didn't even see what happened kind of thing. Like we just walked outside. And then you hear another black man saying, what do you want us to do? Like, what do you want us to do? Which brings up another point, which is somewhat valid. The somewhat valid point that is getting brought up is these people have families too. These people don't know you from a can of paint. These people did not see what happened. Some of these people just came outside. I'm not saying all of them, some of them. They just came outside and you're expecting them to do what? To jump this man because you said he hit you in the head with a brick. 
Now, realistically, this is 2023. Usually, if you're a man and you're getting in an altercation with another man, you're literally running the risk of getting shot and killed or stabbed or there's a thousand and one things that can go wrong. Now, if you have a wife, a kids, families at home, that's not something that you're willing to risk on account of what one person says and you didn't even witness it. You weren't there. Or maybe you were there and you did see it. But again, your name is Bennett and I'm not in it. I have this friend in Seattle. He was sticking up for this girl. His name's Alden. And this man literally uh, got shot outside in his back. And now he's permanently paralyzed for life. So there's always that risk of what can go wrong. Which why when I circle back and say, you need to be going outside with people who you know and who you trust. That is such a big thing because low key... If you didn't see it, even if you did see it, you cannot fault these people for it. They're not police officers. They're not going to put their lives on the line for random people. I'm not saying it's right, but there's crazy ass people out there and you never know. These people don't even know the full extent of the story. That could be your crazy ex-boyfriend. That could be, there's a thousand and one things that could possibly happen. So was it fucked up that that man did that? Absolutely, yes. There's not even a question. There's not even a shadow of a doubt. But can we really hold these men accountable for saying, well, you didn't do anything? Mm -hmm it's debatable it's literally debatable so there's that and then this brings me to my next safety tip whenever somebody personally asks me for my number i have always been taught to be extremely respectful about it until there's a reason to not be i'm not saying that she was not respectful this has nothing to do with her per se situation but there are a lot of times online where i see women like laughing at guys or even in in, in real life laughing at guys or trying to kiki or try to like diss them on like boy bye type shit and again you never know people's mental state people can be mentally on the fucking spectrum they could have a bad day and that could be the last thing that fucking sets them off you never know is it right fuck no but do you have to do that to be safe absolutely it's the same thing as when a police officer pulls you over what do you do you know there's specific shit that you have to do as a black person is it right fuck no do you have to do it to be safe absolutely so that's why i'm gonna end this video at i again i my, you know my heart goes out to her it's a very um, it's a very unfortunate situation but ladies please mind your surroundings don't go to places that you feel like something could pop off or may potentially not be safe always go with people that you're gonna be safe around and always in the instance that men do approach you and you don't know who the fuck they are try to be as respectful as possible because you never know what the fuck that person is going through or what the fuck they got going on